Welcome to part two. This is the Kun and Chaotic podcast. I'm your host, Kun Sean, and here is my secondary host. Oh. Oh. Yo, okay. Yeah. Over right. here, we're looking at comments. Yeah, we're looking at comments for right now. So, these are all the comments about the part one video. Will these out? Yeah, <laughs> gray. When you were when you started you, the app, and I was like, oh. "You're gonna have to show me." Oh, you can't see. Yeah, change screens. Yep. All right. Any of these? Oh. You can, you can... Okay. Okay. Gray. He's bitten. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, yo. Um. <laughs> I like this chaotic dude. I don't know why. <laughs> Keeping it real. Yeah, bro, you were going off with like accent. Um, remember when Nina talked about being kind of gaslighted or being ignored or not being? Ignored? I'm pretty sure this is talking about. Okay, yeah, from Ethereum. Well, yeah, of they course. Said, I mean, she already said, talked about this as Madara Khan as well. Yeah, she she said like that's how they were. They are clickish, but I mean they're introverted. Makes sense. I'm gonna also get an update to this rig. I'm watching myself. I'm like, bro, why aren't you? <laughs> why aren't you moving your face right? This <laughs> is shit. All right, uh, this guy said, "Quit yap and let chaotic speak." Remember, chaotic has a channel. Link in the description. You guys like him a lot. Go check him out. Uh, did I cut you off? I speak. Plenty of times, but it's it's it is what it is, you know. I, I ain't take it too serious. But my bad. Okay, I'll work on it. <laughs> it's all over the place, but it will. Why your eyes red? Yeah. <laughs> did you just get them up? <laughs> it That's fact. It did. It's just like every time I wanted to lay down. Oh, some new stuff. Yeah, people are milking this situation. Almost, oh, I was, actually. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, Asmund Gold would definitely milk the fuck out of me. And I was like, and maybe I could. But then I was like, well, you could see it as milking or you could see it as like full story because yeah, I seen a YouTuber that, like, obviously VTuber Reactor, they're uploading, like, Niji news, like, every single day. Like, actually, like, more than once a day, actually. It's like, hold on, man. It is. Got to. Wow. I don't, I don't necessarily agree. I think the more you do, the less attention it garners. And that specific channel, it showed proof because the more he did, the less views each video got. Oh, wow. Don't even talk about me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're doing fine. You ain't like overdo it or nothing. I felt like it, shit. I was trying to get some rest and pull a new video. I'm like, it's RP, RP, this RPR one was very interesting. Um, I think the RPR fan. I don't want to assume it's his fan base, but like, bro, when you look at the like to dislike ratio, I can see it. Like, here's the RPR one, uh, right there. It's like 31 dislikes, right? Shout out to everybody that hit liked on the video. Always hit like on the video, it helps. But it's like 31 dislikes, that's a lot of dislikes. And I did have to ban one person. But I think everybody else's takes totally fine. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even see the comments for this video. Oh, go ahead, check them out. Self limit. This is our thing. Like, just chilling. Basically, that's what a podcast is all about. I expect talking. Don't expect me to be like, yo, I got all these facts ready. That's chaotic's job. Chaotic has all the receipts of everything. And if he doesn't, oh. you know. Be like, oh, I don't know this. Yep, I, I, I do like to say 
you're all everyone's always free to do their own research i did mine if you don't believe mine that's fine do your own yeah that's totally true Dang, people are really commenting. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, honestly, on this on this video, um, er, I think there are some things I, f I forget the specifics because um, I was I had this on in the I had this video on in the background. I was listening. Um, there are some takes I agreed with with you, and some I disagreed with. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like yo, it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm okay with you guys disagreeing. It'll be fine. This, like, I especially realized it this whole fiasco because, like, everyone talked about it. Charlie talked about it. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, it had me up all night. It's like, I want to make sure everyone is trying to be on the right page because I saw several comments. Oh, I don't know what's going on. And that's why I, like, tried to address it several times in the videos. But of course, like, if I keep doing it, I feel like some part I can skip over. But I can't keep skipping over each part. And that's why we made the video the entire state of the world. Part one, to try and get as much information. But then it just, like, I was tired. And, uh, I think it did a decent job. Three likes, so. Decent. Yeah. People watch for. Hey, we got a subscriber. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to the one guy who saw this and was like, I like this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, he said, I like this. I'm a subscribe. So I, I, I appreciate that. But yeah, the watch time, the views, everything is good. And browse. Wait, browse. So people look this up. No, that would be YouTube search. Browse feature. YouTube search is at 6%. Yeah, I, I suppose when you're at the home page and you scroll down. I guess if, like, YouTube you've seen a video of someone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you see how yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. just goes into detail. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, it Got to up that YouTube search. Yeah. Well, I mean, I... Don't, I that's a... I... Yes and no. I at this point, if people are coming, awesome. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> they gotta come for. <laughs> they gotta come for the daily or for the pod. I think I'm done. Unless it's something like news, that would be something to react to, or maybe like the big videos, like a collection of. Uh, like when a Jello clips, you know, Jello clips best of, best of. I would definitely love to watch those and react to those too. Oh yeah, there's not many of them either. It's once a month and then right. one at the end of the year. Exactly. I think I'm gonna be chilling a little bit more, or maybe more comedy. Right? I do want to do more collabs. We did collab with some. Nova is streaming uh, Skull and Bones, by the way. Hashtag sponsor. Congratulations on the sponsor. I think that's about all for comments right now. All right, so you want to continue on a part two from where we left off? Uh, China. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, China. Go ahead, brother. Well, I mean, I, I forget exactly where you cut the video, but... I cut the video as soon as you just start to... saying China. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, um basically what i was talking about is just like the fact that niji sanji they have a partnership or you know uh billy billy is one of their biggest uh shareholders um and many of us know some don't they will know that over there in china they have obviously this this policy that's going around where essentially they be doxing these virtual youtubers depending on how popular they are having to you know show their actual face their and you know i feel like 
while while China has a yeah, while China has a big um big and base, base over there, sure. User base, not user, user base. base. User base. There's mm -hmm. a lot of them. Uh, and while they, I don't even know how much money they're bringing in on that end for Niji Sanji. Uh, nobody knows. But, <laughs> um, China, baby. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like I mean, it's it's China. something. I feel like it's something that's. I feel like won't be good for them reputation wise might be good for them financially which of course at the end of the day that's all they care about so i mean in their eyes it's a w of course i was gonna um, say at the end of the day reputation is kind of out the window at least of course yeah of course it is but it's just it's just digging another hole at the end of the day um because it's not safe for the livers right because it's essentially doxing them and that's the tough thing it's like it's it's communist china bro like yeah they're gonna it's not even really doxing it's like the government wants their information because if they make a lot of money they can become a threat if they also have influence they can become a threat so they need their information not for good things obviously I think it's worse than boxing. It's way worse. We don't live in it. Personally, I have this is my personal. Oh, of course, China be China at the end of the day. <laughs> hey, a lot of people um, don't realize that though. Like, you need a whole VPN to go to China. It's like though, the VPNs are illegal in China, but everyone uses a VPN in China. So. Yeah. Very true. Um, but yeah, definitely not safe for the livers. Um, I haven't looked too deep into how the chi that China thing's going. Um, I remember Niji Sanji has the virtual real side of things for any color. Or what was it? It was like for. It was like a training thing, isn't it? Virtual breeze. Okay, for training? Um, yeah, didn't they have to complete like some courses before they get even in? No, oh, no, this, wait, this, this is this after? is the joint this is the joint joint venture between Billy Billy and Any Color. This is the uh, the company that's between the two of them. Oh, uh, no, I didn't even know all that. Virtual. Uh, it sounds, it sounds so 66 members. 66 members of virtual real? Damn, that's actually a lot. That's a lot of people. And it's just trying. Oh, yeah. Um, trying to look here because I want to get my facts straight. Because I did, there was something about training. Send them to me whenever you get. But, um, but yeah, these these are other besides Niji Sanji, right? These are other livers are are at risk due to China's policies. And obviously, since this this literally is the the joint venture between Ali Color and China over there with Billy Billy. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That that does suck. No, I don't, honestly don't really have much to add to that. <laughs> I don't really have much to add. It's China, bro. Like, <laughs> but what else? What else did you want to talk about? That we didn't do? That's the part. That's what, this is why it's the part two. We can talk about something else on another video. Also, Chaotic's oh, time right. has actually been awake for a long ass time. So. Yeah, it's a little. I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. Well, first, firstly, <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess another thing to talk about is probably the more recent thing to to start with the, the new allegations. Huh? Oh God! Oh God! I totally forgot about those. <laughs> uh, even Kyo and Nosaji were talking about. But oh, Kyo and Nosaji. 
Um, where do you oh, yeah. wanna, where do you want to say about it? Because I don't even think it's been brought to really brought to light yet. So I'm waiting. Of course, nothing's 100% confirmed, obviously. All we have is just this information and people trying to pick and nitpick and see how it was faked or either, not. Either it's faked or it's not. And it's, uh, yeah. it's a lot of hoops. As Kill said, it's a lot of hoops you'd have to jump through to fake it. But Definitely. No, it 100% being, that, is. That being said, if they did jump through all the hoops to fake it, God damn! <laughs> if you're I wouldn't willing put it past, to do all that, past people. Yeah, yeah, but if you're willing to do all that, that's like, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think corporate espionage is on the table at this point. It's that big. Like it's that deep too. Let me know if you don't think so. Corporate espionage. Now that's. that's I'm big, not all too sure about. That, that's big. That's like that's oh, what yeah. you would have it, to be doing if you were gonna jump through all the hoops. It would be corporate, corporate espionage. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, honestly, with those leaks, quote unquote leaks, um, from what I've looked at it and I've I sent it over to someone, and they they told me that. The amounts, yeah, obviously, like the amount of effort it had to take if this w was fake would be just insane. Um, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't personally believe that they are real. Okay. I, f I feel like, I feel like, it, like for example, if 4chan can literally come up and find out most craziest shit before anyone else can i feel like they would have found there's, there's obviously people there's obviously people that would have found out yeah. um because for all that maybe maybe for chan for chan before chan they go hard on what they do they and I, I have no doubt that whoever who as they from what i think faked these leaks i have no doubt they they themselves would, wouldn't go hard or just to do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. One day. Might not be today. <laughs> to be, not be continued, um, if anybody is from the future and they're like, no time, because they be doing that sometimes. They be like, yo, Paul did or something. I'm like, well, shit. Okay. Well, at this point, anything's possible. Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And freaking three months ago, or like, not even three months ago at this point, but like six months ago, everyone was bashing bashing people for calling Niji Sanji a black company, and here we are today. <laughs> and Niji Sanji's a black company. Yeah, you, there's, there's no argument about it anymore because <laughs> this a life was at stake. So it's like, there it is. yeah, like you can't run away from it no more. Yeah, you really can't because now we know it's real and it legitimately is a black company. But what do we do now? I feel like people are going about it the wrong way. Um. Like, for example, unsubscribing to the livers. I feel like that's not the best it sh not the best thing to do. Uh, at the end of the day, you're hurting the livers more than you're hurting the company by doing that. I feel... I feel if you want to attack... Um, I feel like many people are, are doing a good job at it. Like, for example, the sponsors leaving and people saying they're going to stop making merch. All that I feel like they're doing fine because for all of that, that's that's where the stock is dropping. But see, the thing is, the only way that people can actually hurt Niji Tanji is the people that were already doing stuff for them, that were doing things creatively, like flippers, you know, the people yeah. that were making their thumbnails. Yada, yada, yeah, there's yada, many yada. artists that. Were
people not work for them anymore. Yeah. That, Merch those, those things. Those people are doing something. But what about the average fan? What can the average fan do? I don't know. I think just watch them. The if they're, average if they're, if they're, if they're still your OC, I think you should still watch them. I will say one thing. If you're gonna... Like, if you're gonna unsubscribe, go unsubscribe to the Niji Sanji channel. Don't unsubscribe to the livers. Niji no. Sanji channel. Go That's, unsubscribe to that. I don't think anybody even watches the Niji Sanji channel, bro. They have almost a million subscribers. And, go and, make that and, go and down. Look at the views. I don't think. Look, brother, I wouldn't put Niji Sanji past somebody. I wouldn't put him past anything at this point. Because there's well, no way I, that uh, everybody else got mass unsubscribed in that channel was not touched. I don't know. I mean, it's not like, hard. You, gotta, you can pay some money. You can, I mean, I could, you can sub by any channel. Oh, def definitely. Let me... Here, let me see. I'll pull it up right now, actually. Let me, let me see the statistics. I just want to see how they're doing. Okay, no, they are losing subscribers. Okay. Last last 30 days, minus 18k. Hmm. Oh, some people are doing it right. But then there's other people that are unsubscribing. It's literally every liver on the EN side, making Rosami lose her milestone. Um, so <laughs> random. It's like... All that. You guys were subscribed to all the livers at the same time. That's how it is on Hollow too. Really? Yeah. Even if they don't watch. Uh, for... But yeah, because huh. it's honestly it's just a very tight, tightly knit community. Why wouldn't you at the end of the day? Well, personally, I don't subscribe to a channel unless I'm watching the content. Is like there'd be some channels I'm, that I'm subscribed to and I don't watch them often, but every so often I might I might pop in there for a few minutes or something. My support, because obviously there's so many people live at the same time when you're subscribed to a lot of VTubers, and you can't watch everyone. You like, even at this moment, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people live right now only person i see I, live is playing uh hell divers 2 and it's not easy I'm a chef, chef, <laughs> oh, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah average fan I feel like i don't have a perfect answer for what you should do I think you should no support of the livers. You should be in support of the livers at the end of the day. And while it might seem, while supporting the livers indirectly supports the company, you're still, if you do the other way around, you're going to be hurting the livers more than you're hurting the company. And I feel like that alternative is not is not at all the best way to go. So this might be totally wrong. Uh... I unsubscribe from Aster, but I was watching his live and I gifted membership to the arcade. It's a net neutral <laughs> or a net positive for me. Oh. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. At the end of the day, you know the percentage. <laughs> yeah. But I like that the Arcadians get to hang out with him and the members only. That's, yeah, that's there is exactly. this this right here. What we have right here, with what we're talking about, it's it's almost like just a lose lose situation. Because you stop supporting the livers to stop support the company, and then in pursuit of hurting the company, you hurt the livers. Because at the end of the day, this is their livelihood, and the less money they the less money they make, the less money they get. And already putting into account the small percentage that they get, it'd be just almost nothing. Well, to be honest, it was a, it was the game was always rigged from the start. As soon as I found out their merch sales were too, it was always rigged from the start. There's nothing, of course, we could do. 
personally. I don't like that's why I gift the memberships. It's like members only stream, pastor sad. There's people that couldn't afford a membership. Now they have one. Now they're comforting Aster. Boom. It's very meta. And whether it works or not, you know, but it is. That's good. At least I can do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like everyone should just go support the livers. Um, they, cause they, they need it. And then they just, they do need it. Then they deserve it at the same time. They do. That company wouldn't be anything uh, without the like, That's how this works. Of course. Yeah. Um, but I am glad to see that not only on Ian's side, but I, I do see on JP's side, people are talking about this. That's and cool. while m but, but many of them are in support of the company, there are that section where they're not. Because, um, obviously on the JP side, I feel like they're quite, well, quite misinformed mm. for two reasons. Um, one, obviously they don't speak English, so they have no clue what's going on over here. Two, I don't really see any clippers that translate the Ian to JP. At least not any I've seen. I might be completely wrong, but from what I've seen, I haven't seen any. <laughs> From what I've seen, and I so, haven't seen any. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And so, it's just it's just a mix of things that they're misinformed, because Niji doesn't want to talk about the situation beyond the fact of them and the JP announcement uh, blaming Selen. And that's all they have on that side. So. I don't want to put too much blame on the fan base over there. Um, I'm still glad that they're talking about it on that side, because the more the more it gets talked about, the more worse it'll be for Niji Sanji, and that's a win at the end of the day nowadays. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope the lives are okay. Honestly, company, do company things. Because I feel, because there's a reason, I've noticed now, Niji Sanji will not improve unless they're in, they're in deep, deep trouble. Like, and what I mean by that is financially. Because... It's kind of hard they, to lose they didn't, a billion dollars. And Kanye West didn't lose all his money. He saw what he did. Guess what? They... They lost 150 million in five days. It it does does not take a lot. If you fuck up so badly, it does not take a lot. A lot of time. And they have a lot. Obviously, of time. They still have a lot of time. 150 million is a lot of money. I'm pretty sure. The, the books are balanced. You feel me? As, as much as I want to be like, yeah, we're fucking them. Sink the yacht. It's like not sinking them. They still have enough time to get floaties or preserves, preservatives or whatever. They'll get go to the Bank of Japan and say, "Hey, we need a corporate loan to bail out our company." No. The thing is, there new places, new artists, new sponsors are dropping them by the day. Literally today, I've I've saw notice of just even on YouTube, just reactors. Saying, yeah, I'm not reacting to Niji anymore. And um, on Twitter as well, different and merch sites saying they ain't doing it anymore. All I gotta so, say is it's only the first week. See what happens in two months next year. Well, I feel, I feel like it, it just, it absolutely needs to keep happening. This, the yacht needs to be synced further in order for Niji to improve. I'm not saying for Niji to die for it to I but for it to improve. Because Niji Sanji is not going to die anytime soon whatsoever. But with with all the damage to their ship, to their yacht, 
are gonna have to fix things. Because right now, what they what they're seeing is they're looking at their yacht and they saw a dent. They see a dent in it, and they're like, eh, "It's fine, still." You can buff that out. <laughs> yeah. What what you need to do is make a hole whoa, in whoa, that yacht. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not being literal. No, no. But some people, some people, you gotta let them know. Relax. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, that's why I just said I'm not being literal. This is, you know, but putting a hole in their yacht, and then you're gonna have to take initiative and look around and fix or not. the issue. Or and if they don't, or golden parachute. parachute on a yacht? A golden parachute, brother. The people at the top, you remember CEO Bobby Kotek? Remember what he got in trouble for? Activision Blizzard? Uh, You're not familiar? Uh, the sexual no, assault I... allegations and... Oh, okay. No, I remember now. Okay. 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 And guess what? He's still doing just fine. Golden parachute. Of course. The people at the top are always going to have a golden parachute. There's no accountability at Niji Sanji. It's like we don't know the people underneath Bobby Kotek. We don't know the people underneath Riku Tazuma. So unless of course, but you find that out. There's not going to be any. These are two. Of... Okay, these are two different levels, though. Because obviously, you can't compare act like Activision Blizzard to Niji Sanji. Uh, they're both billion-dollar companies. Because one is more, one is more easy, easier to be failed in than the other. They and both fail, and they both were failing. And both of their CEOs are doing just fine. But yeah, well, of course they they need neither of them want to take accountability because, like I said last time, uh, the CEO of Niji Sanji is he's young at the end of the day, and he has over a billion dollars in his pocket. And that's all he's happy about. He has no no moral compass. At least at least not anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't at least know. from what I from what's know. being presented, because it's his company. Is there it any is, his is company. there any billionaires that have a a moral compass? I feel like it'd be unfair to say that they don't, or at least some don't. Um, obviously there's ones that do, some do, some don't. Just depends, but... I don't know, man. A billion dollars is a lot of money. I don't know how clean you can be to get a billion. Somebody gotta get fucked over to get a billion. Business is business. There it is. Some people business end up. Business. Some people end up unhappy. Other people, from that unhappiness, end up happy. Yeah. Sure. Some are talent. Same. Some are CEOs. Same. Yeah. Same like way with the area. VTuber auditions. You know, it's like okay, this person didn't get in. They might be sad about it, but someone else did. Or now there's the happy situation. Try again and try again, and then they get in. A lot of these VTubers I hear is like they failed multiple times before they got in. Let's keep trying. Oh yeah, there's so many unique situations actually. There is. At least from what I've seen, because like, like newest wave of Hall Life, Full Moko for example, they talked about how they had to apply multiple times in different ways. I mean, they got accepted, and then how but about... there there's, but then there's people, also on Hollow that literally have talked about how they got in or they're like oh no no i got in off of recommendation from another liver that was already in there that's fire and so yeah i mean a lot of unique different ways um it's who you know or what you know oh yeah but for niji niji sanji niji, niji fucking sanji man 
Sounds um, like you're running on fumes, can... brother. You good? 34 minutes in if you want to stop. Uh, we're good. I already, I, I already talked about how, what they need to do to improve. Yeah. How they, how they could improve. And as of right, as of right now, honestly, this, this, this ship keeps sinking. At least day by day, it is. Um. As every day we get a new allegation at this point. Might be time to get a new ship. New Change. ship. Change the name. But that's, well, that's why I talked about how I see the possibility of EN going into G into the main branch. I see them. If it gets too bad, I can see me Yusaji changing something. Like changing the name or whatever. Or starting somewhere else. Starting elsewhere. Well, I mean, they have other ventures, obviously. Yeah. Niji Sanji isn't the only thing under any color. They got they got virtual real. They got some other stuff. They got a lot. I do I do wonder where most of the money comes from. I would assume Niji Sanji, right? Actually, hmm, I don't know about that one. Hey, brother, digging too deep. I'll do that on my own. Yeah, damn right you will. <laughs> you damn right you will. You dig it too deep. China's involved, and you want to know where the money coming from? I set up that VPN. Hey, button. that VPN's always on. There you go. Um. Well, yeah, that is important. I feel like that's important information, though, because we talked about this last time. Like, where is the money going? Two point five mean, billion I mean, I know dollar where company. It's going. Uh, where it's coming from? That's where it's going. Like, yeah, it's going to the to the rich get richer. Yeah, we know where it's going. Yeah. I just truly, I don't see why they can't understand how to grow, how to grow, how to expand, how to cater. I, I think it's one of those things where it turns into a complacency, you know. Like, if you think about it, Niji Sanji was being run by the community. The community were the ones helping the, the libraries, and the libraries were paying the community. Niji Sanji never did anything. They were just there as a name, as a brand. I so, feel like out of the community they... left, it's like, I mean, it's, they, they, they never did shit. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel like in the eyes of any color, Niji Sanji is just a, th a thing to make as much money as quickly as possible and as using as little resource as possible because their plan is in short term can be successful, but in the long term it will never succeed. Absolutely not. In the long term, it's that that sh that ship is going to sink if they keep doing the way they're doing right now. Expansion is needed for any company that's trying to grow, and that's why and we have merch. Check it out in the link below. Oh, also, you made there, the. There, there's no merch right now. <laughs> he capping. <laughs> There's no merch right now, but later there will be merch. Yep. Link down below. Join the Discord. <laughs> I love being a YouTuber. Yep. It's so fun. I get to like make fun of the stereotypes. Like, oh, hit like. Did you hit the like button yet? You're 39 minutes into the video. You hit the like button. But you just got us playing in the background. Wow. <laughs> Go to the second monitor, click like. Or pull out your phone. Do something. Not everybody on mobile. Go comment down below. Yeah, there you go. I read one comment today. Uh, or do you want to? Yeah. I was about to sidestep and just be like, fuck it. 
Let's talk about something else. We talked about how Niji's fucked up and how to fix it and how they can. <laughs> I don't know what else we. That's the end. That's part two. I think. Unless you got something else to add. I feel like the only thing I was gonna add is I was just gonna do some. Some, I guess, comparisons. Okay. But I forgot if I did that last video or not. I don't think you did, but everyone. Like, what are you gonna pull out? What, what analytics are you gonna pull out? Your engagement, driver numbers, watch time. You can pull out. You can pull out a ton of numbers. Like, you can honestly. pull out any analytic, and it will say Hollow Live number one. So that's why I'm confused. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, like, but no there, but there is a point because there's a reason it's like that. Bro, we know why Hollow Live's amazing, and if you're in a 40-minute pod. And you don't know why Hollow Live is number one, and you've been watching me. I'm confused. <laughs> but go for it. Fuck it. The watch time was great on the last video. Go ahead. Explain why Hollow Live's so great. Is I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's not just the fact that they have a good CEO, and that they put funding into the projects they make. That that alone is great. Don't get me wrong. It's great, but that's not all that there is to it. It's the, it's the just the amount of engagement that they 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 bring to the audience. What I mean by engagement is, for example, Hollow Indie, the Hollow Indie project for the video games that they're getting monetized now. They're able to get monetized. Now on the Hollow Live website, you're able to download the 3D models of of the talents in order to make your own content from it. Furthermore, promoting their their company, and it's it goes obviously beyond that. We have the announcement today that Hochi Machi Suisei will be will be in a singing no free, in a no movie. sponsorships. Hello. I'm not gonna say the movie name, but but she's gonna be in in a movie now. And nice. Many people had their like as a song you know, or her character or her, like the actual person. It's, he's gonna be singing the song, a song that's in it. Oh, okay. So you know, furthermore, how Cover Corp allows their talents to do work outside of the company, right? Obviously, that being one example. And it's just a plethora of things that um, it's because Niji Sanji just sees. Uh, it's because Niji Sanji sees competition. They view other people as competition, and while that might be fair in game, if you if you're only doing that, that's another way to hinder yourself. Because if you want to. If you want to, you want things to be no only in your company. You cannot go outside of the company. You cannot do things outside of the company. Just like, what's his name? Say, was I forgot his name, but he, I remember you saw the video as well, or this other VTuber, uh, voice actor, I was thinking about joining Niji Sanji. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sayu. Thank you. Shout out to Sayu. And Niji Sanji said, oh. If you, but if you want to work with us, you can't do that. You can only do it within the company. Which, it honestly is stupid. Like, why would you do that? Because allowing That's your talents to... <laughs> yeah. Allowing your talents... Or not not allowing your talents to work outside of the company... Is... is what is that going to do for you? Because now... Like... For, this movie, for example, people who watch the movie, they might hear Suisei's voice, might look look up the song, find Suisei, and find Hollow Life. Guess what? Oh, now you might have gotten some new fans. Yeah, that's power of uh, the cross collaboration. I don't understand why they're. Well, actually, now that I think about it, do you think it's a Niji Saji thing, or do you think this is a just old school Japanese thing, a cultural thing. Because when you think about it, Japan was notorious for not letting anybody in their borders until America walked up and was like, no, open. 
And even then... But why... But why would it be that way? Bro, it's not, not like we have an old CEO. No. This is a young CEO in, in, in modern time. Where, where Japan allows allows uh, tourists all the freaking time. And yeah, people who allow, live all over the world live in Japan. Yeah, they allow tourists into Japan, of course. But let's look at the latest thing, COVID-19. COVID-19, other people were letting their borders open. Who was one of the last people to let theirs open? Japan. Why is that? Uh, their their weak immune system? The, yes, they have a weak immune system because Japan first. Japan only. Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Like, not like, I don't it's feel not like the West. Like, okay, if if that if that were the case, why is it only Niji Sanji? That's a good question. Why is it only Niji Sanji? Why is it also Nintendo? Why does Nintendo act like that? I don't know. You gotta ask these people. Ask Shigeru Miyamoto why. Why don't they do more collabs? Why didn't Nintendo want to work with fucking Epic Games to get on uh, to get Fortnite to cross collab with Nintendo, PlayStation, and Microsoft? How come PlayStation didn't want? A, how come PlayStation wanted a nod compete with Xbox over Activision? Because they know only people. There's some, some section of gamers that only play Call of Duty. If you take stuff outside of just VTubing, you can see what the issue is. Bro, oh, that, that would be just the culture over there. Exactly. So what is the issue? It's just the issue is... I don't want to seem... And look, like... exactly. Nobody wants to seem like a bigot. No one wants to seem like a racist, but whenever you actually say what it is, the cultures that are different, you seem like a complete dickhead. But guess what? You can't live in a world where everybody pretends that everybody's culture is okay. Not everybody fucks with everybody's culture, and I'm tired of everybody pretending like that's true. It's okay for you not to like Japanese culture, but just be aware whenever you are on a public platform and you yell something like, you know, Japanese culture fucking sucks. Like, even though I might personally agree with that, it's not for me. There are people that still live in that culture and that society, and some of them might actually enjoy it because they might benefit from that said society. The older people benefit from old standards in old Japan. Same thing with Korea. Right. Korea is slowly dying because a lot of their aging population will only vote for stuff that benefits them old people that's why the suicide rates are high that's why if you look outside of just online there's more to it i love it when you like you guys can talk about youtubers all day just let me know whenever you want me to chime about real life oh, yeah i feel like that can be you know its own thing um but for niji sanji and why they don't let their talents do work outside the company I feel like even taking that into account, it doesn't really make sense. If we were talking about the Japanese culture and oh, Japan first, Japan first. Okay, cool. Um, because this isn't only EN, this is JP too. At the end of the day, um, they wouldn't be allowed to do work outside of their company. Favoritism. Um. Some people, I feel some people can do stuff, others can't, and said no It's already been proven. I, I suppose yeah, there no, there definitely is favoritism, and that's why a lot of whenever there is funding, it goes to the bigger money makers. Like like for example, Vox Vox, being one of them. Yeah, they're the main dog. Well, this is common. I mean. Many people know this already. He's he has a big fan base, over a million subs. He's one of the bigger uh, earning in, in super chats and different types of things. Obviously, a lot of it do ASMR. He's very big in that, of course. And he gets, I would I would say he gets more funding than most of other members because of that. All right, 
Remember, guys, this is the Kun and Chaotic Podcast. Chaotic is for the happy So, if you guys are ever angry, make sure to... If you're angry at me, let me know. If you're angry at him, let him know. Yeah. But hit like on the like, on the like button, because it's quality. And we've got 50, we're 50 minutes in, brother. I'm not even tired. This is way better than reacting. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's cool to just talk, just chill step back and talk you know but um no yeah i um i feel like that's a another big thing that that would need to change with niji sanji is that that specific policy with them because i would say you you know that could have been a good Damn. a good addition he ain't dropping some mo <laughs> did i say the name say wrong i was oh no no i i think i said the name wrong the uh, one that we were just talking about before. Before saying that box. No, um, that they said they they couldn't do voice acting outside the company. Oh, oh, yeah, Sayu. Sayu, Sayu. There you go. Yeah. I said it wrong. I mixed the two up. Um, well, it's not good, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. We're 50 minutes in, nobody's not... gonna know. Except Ray. <laughs> uh, people that are watching. All the way through. Uh, shout out to the people in the Discord. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Yeah, they're awesome. But uh, yeah, I feel like that could have been a good addition to Niji Sanji, if if only they didn't have that policy that you couldn't work outside the company. Right, and I feel like I think, they just I, I they hinder I, themselves. I, the, the issue is Niji Sanji is like overprotective of their IP. They're like Nintendo, that's what it is. They're overprotective of their IP. They think if anybody gets a hold of anything that's theirs, that they're gonna e immediately ruin it, which is actually detrimental to, to themselves. And that's what well, they wanna be, ex yeah, they wanna be exclusive. Mm -hmm. But you can't be, you can't be exclusive if you wanna grow in a world where everybody has a smartphone and everybody has a social media account and they share all of your stuff on multiple accounts. Like, yeah, we're all, yeah. we all talk to each other through the power of the internet. And I think that's what it is. When it comes to anything, like besides culture and all that, it's like, yeah, there's a young CEO, but there's still a lot of old people around him. And a lot of people want to take his throne, right? There's a, there's a reason he owns majority of the shares, but his majority is 40%. There's other people. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course course there's a lot of other people on on there yeah um, i mean i know you say of course but i'm talking to the viewer really like the viewers, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't really think about that they when they see it here sink the ship which is why i laugh every time you say it because that's literally a rallying cry that's what every politician or whatever that is that you got to have something everyone wants to rally around and saying sink the yacht a dent in the yacht a hole in the yacht there it is. That's the metaphor. The yacht is Niji Sanji, you know. But it's like, yeah. there's more people driving this yacht than Riku. Riku might not even drive it. Someone else could be driving the yacht, and he's just the figurehead, the CEO, the guy that gets to downfall. You never know. Especially when other companies are involved, and there's a lot of money on the table. We don't know. We don't really know. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, for Niji Sanji, it's just a plethora of things, including just you know policies and how they use their money and resources that just lead them to continuously go downhill. Um, the accessibility to them, the uh, transformability of the company, is nowhere to be seen. Or in other companies, you do you do see transformability and accessibility is is shown, and you know they, they just need really need to improve on all the things we talked about last last time and and what I'm saying right now. Lily, that's it. That's it. It is. <laughs> if you want your if you want if you want your company to improve, those are the vital points you need to hit. I feel like we should stop giving out free advice, though. 
Your advice, I don't care about getting paid. At this point, you know, I'm just here talking, like, just why not, you know? I enjoy it. It is what it is. Like, I'm just living life. No more free advice. <laughs> talk to Kud Sean about sponsorships and maybe we'll talk about free advice. Let me know, because I got family and I got employees. Chaotic is good. Kud Sean is not good. Okay. Feed me. I need it. And then, yep. Anything else? Um. Um. Like that's. Like that might be, it, at least from what I have right now, that might be things I'm forgetting right now. But you know, Fine, bro, whatever. You've been up for like, however long. Up a long ass time. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's already yawning, bro. <laughs> it it, it is it is 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm over here talking. It's 1 a.m. Oh shit. Oh, good. Um, shout out to everybody. Okay, let's might as well drag it out. We're done. Episode two is done. If you want to stick around for the impromptu Datsu? Datsu. 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 I don't know. Yeah, just... What's your opinion on doing this live? I don't know if I want to do them live. I feel like. Honestly, I feel like they could be fun, just obviously because you have the live comments there and you could provide even more information from that. Like, I feel like it's beneficial because I remember back before I even talked to you and I watched your videos and I would randomly see a chat pop up and I would have this moment where I'm like, damn, I wish I was there because I want to reply to that comment. And, um, Y'all let me know in the comments below. Y'all y'all use the comment section say, hey, we want it live or Discord. Y'all don't let me know. But I'm fine with videos. Just follow me. I'm just having yeah, fun. Yeah, either way. We're both having fun, but that doesn't mean we can't make money. From I got employees. Several times I've thought about just leaving, and it's like, I don't want to just leave. It's like, those are the reason why I'm really still here. It's like, the employees really do matter. Shout out to all the employees working in Kunshan and Jane. Which is funny, because Chaotic kind of works in Kunshan. I just be, I just be managing. Do you ever want to spin off into your, like, doing this, but on your channel? Not this, but like, whatever. I am eventually. Um, this year and next, uh, Next year is a little busy, at least because projects are planned. There's a lot of projects planned, and um, I gotta be there. Um, <clears throat> at least for this year, definitely. This year is looking heavy. Um, next year, maybe. Well, I think everything is going good. Um, I got the whole uh, the YouTube analytics. Everything is green because of you guys you guys that's why i'm not leaving me too many it's like it's still fun i still like doing daily clips and this is actually important besides the entertainment factor black company shit is actually very important um of course yeah. I've, I've grown i've grown parasocial myself actually like watching it's a little hard not to. Yeah, it's, uh, it literally is. Like you listen to their music, you hear about their growth, you hear about before they join. Like yeah, if you're gonna become parasocial, um, like me too, is literally like one of the easiest ways I want to say. Because like a normal YouTuber, they don't really talk about their life unless they're a blogger, right? The bloggers mm -hmm. don't normally make music. Blog. But now you got someone that's doing videos every day and they're live all the time where they're making music. Got merch. Yeah. A description. big reason yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the description. It's not there. <laughs> even look. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Cause like, 
for a big reason, do you know Tokino Sora? Sora, 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 Sora. That, sound, that name sounds super cool. The very first member of Hollow Life. Okay, yeah. Um, big reason why I like her, obviously, is just her origin story, you know? And again, that's like how you become parasocial, even though just a little bit, because like, obviously, hearing her her origin story, how she started, and basically how she went to she went to Yago with Achan and said he they want to do this, and Yago was like, okay, let's try it. And you know that whole origin story is kind of what led me to be just a big fan of Sora. Um, Innovator. And you know just uh, yeah, and having like and many other VTubers having their their own unique stories, how they got in and the struggles they had to go through seeing where they are now and you know it's like it's you're watching just like this entire story unfold in real life because these are obviously real people and it's just like a lot of it's inspiring you know and it, it's just it is very hard to not be parasocial because like some yeah not gonna start crying right it is Oh, not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're getting emotional, brother. Like, okay, let it oh, out, no, man. No. <laughs> We're an hour in. I don't think anyone's going to see it. <laughs> I can't even make jokes like that anymore. I don't think anyone's going to see it. It's like, no. We're watching. Shout out to the viewers. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Life is very interesting. Um, Yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to be doing more of those. Or more of the point. We're gonna be doing more of these, but it's not gonna just be chaotic. So if anybody else wants to join in, you know, a lot of people wanna, especially now, wanna vent their frustrations about Niji, but if you wanna just talk about anything that's related to VTubing, let me know. We could uh, talk about it. Sounds good, everybody? Everybody good? Got it? Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one here, fool. There's nobody in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> uh, you talking to the viewers right now? I'm talking to everybody. Everybody, team with t uh, team on me, team on three. One, two, three, two. Ooh. I feel like yeah. You know, I feel like we should definitely do do this type. Yapping with chaotic, at least once in a uh, while. Shit, I'm about to see. I'm copywriting this shit. Uh huh. Yapping with who? Oh, I came up with that. Yapping. <laughs> uh, I'm the one who brought up the the yapping part. Oh, you pro you coined the fate the phrase, coined the phrase, the yapster. 